Hello, so I'm Gilles de la Rose. I'm uh, leading the product marketing team of, for the automotive MOSFET and Infineon in Munich. And today I'm uh, welcome you on the Infineon booth uh, in uh, the PCIM in Nuremberg. I let you bring my colleague here. So my name is Frank. I'm responsible for the automotive MOSFET business at Infineon. And I'm happy to explain you some of the latest topics on 48 volt and why this is important Gilles will start to give a brief introduction on 48 volt in the MOSFET market right now. Thank you, Frank. So, 48 volt, it's probably one of the most exciting market these days in the automotive arena, especially with uh, regard to the MOSFET. And why this? Because first, it's a booming market, very dynamic market, 3.5 million cars in 2020, probably more than 17 million pieces in 2025. And if we look at the MOSFET, they are a few top applications which will be a core element of those uh, future cars. First one is the 48 volt inverter. Um, a very high power application, we are talking for uh, more than 10 k kilowatt uh, systems. We also have the DC to DC converters to, from 12 to 48 volt and we're going to have the auxiliary applications. So, Why is this market so important? It's important because um, you know the regulations, right? Uh, the CO2 emissions have to reduce significantly. In 2021, not more than 95 grams uh, CO2 per kilometer have to be reached. And uh, definitely the 48 volt mild hybrid are one of the core elements to reach these targets. So now the question is how to uh, serve this market. Very high power and probably the best solution today is to use BearDye. But Berda is a very complex uh, technology and requires a big know-how from all customers. And it's not always given. On top of this, when we look at future technologies, um, we try to optimize the performance, especially for small products. And this is possible with very thin dyes, with uh, further shrink, and this is not always compatible with Berda business. On top of this, we have also new application with more and more place constraints. So systems have to be smaller, smaller and smaller, get compact, um, high power density. And this is the biggest challenge we have, as well as our customers have. And we do see this chip embedding technology, which we will present now, as one of the best technology and best approach for the future. So Frank, what is chip embedding? I, I look at this board here, that's I think a prototype for a 50 kilowatt um, uh, micro inverter, but where are the MOSFET? I don't see them here. Yeah, this is part of the innovation. You don't see the MOSFETs on the surface on the PCB because they are already embedded in this power PCB from our corporation partner company Schweizer. So what you don't see, I can show you here, on this special inset, maybe you want to focus the camera here, this piece of copper with a silicon MOSFET attached on top of it is exactly what is 24 times embedded in this PCB, which allows us to drive 50 kilowatt of power in a microinverter of 48 volt battery systems. So that's a big innovation we bring to the market. It's a perfect partnership because Schweizer and Infineon both very much embedded in the automotive industry, very much focused on quality. And all in all, this is the perfect combination to bring such an innovation of chip embedding for power into the market. And as you said before, it's most important in the area of high power, 48 volt is the area to be right now. And chip embedding is the technology to go forward after you do the step from bare die to the next generation of this high power systems. So with this, I think we conclude our short introduction to the latest technology we bring to the market together with Schweizer and Infineon, and I hope it will have a bright future in many applications in the automotive industry. Thank you.